You guys, let me turn on the light since the tree's in the shot. So as I'm sure most of us do when we are shopping for others, sometimes we get a little distracted and buy some stuff for ourselves. So I thought I would show you the things I have already bought for myself um, for Christmas, for the holidays, just taking advantage of deals going on, but things that could also just be some good gifting ideas. I'm going to start with um, this jacket because I already just posted it. 30 minutes ago on Instagram. It is a puffer from Aloe. It is so cutie. I got this tank top that goes with it that is from the same line. And they also dropped a, I think it's called like a sugar plum pink. Same sort of deal where it really gives a pastel muted, it's bright but it's not neon, just a really pretty shade of pink. Um, if things are still 30% off, they had it on the brand new item. So I got this jacket for I think about 130, 135 instead of 200. I love it. Something though that's just as cozy that I think is just as fun is these slippers. I have that match it almost perfectly. These are from one of my best friends, Emily. She gave me these slippers right before I moved. Um, and they are that trendy, fuzzy, but also the crisscross design, I think is really fun. And I just think they are darling and make such a good gift and have so many cute shades. Obviously, Lulu also had a ton of stuff that was on sale. I'm not gonna be showing that much because while well, everything came in even just earlier today and I officially have everything for my haul, I wanna save the bulk of it for the haul video. But the couple of things that I got that are not necessarily festive or new, I have no issue sharing. I own a ton of the Align shorts, but I don't have any in a print. So these were already on sale and then we're on even more of a sale for Black Friday. Um, you know when they have that section that's the we made too much, which is just their way of saying sale. And I have an Align tank in black, in white, in pink, just already so many tops that are gonna go with this perfectly, but I like the really sweet, small, floral print. These leggings I actually saw. I did not know that these had been around for a while. They are the scalloped bottom leggings and I saw these actually on one of my dancers um, a couple of weeks ago and I was like, oh, those are so cute. Look at the little scalloped bottom and even asked her, are those new? And she said, no. And I was like, hmm, but I saw them on the Black Friday sale. They are just in a line. They're a little bit more cropped, I think, than I normally do, but um, I will see. So instead of them being a 7 8th, which I think is 25, yeah, 25 inches, I think, is usually the 7 8th or the right above the ankle. Um, and these are a 23, but really the scalloped, I am just so excited about. I think it is gonna be darling. One other item. Um, that I'll show for now. I have no issue sharing because it is not for me, but if you have a boy, a man, a brother, or possibly even an active dad, really, whether you have um, an athletic or non-athletic male in your life, I've never heard a bad thing about these shorts. They are the pace breaker short um, from the Lulu line, the seven inch one. Those are not too long, not too short. They're a real nice like middle of the thigh hit and they do have them in lined and unlined styles. I personally don't know which one guys like more. I think they probably like both. But if you do like you need to ask. I think the price is a little different between them, but really it's just that the colors are different. So these I got in the sale. They are called Arctic Green. They're not showing up as bright and cute, I think on screen, I think they're looking a little bit more um, sagey or just a little bit darker on screen and in person they're a little bit brighter. But I just love these for a guy, I think they are great. They even have you know a bit of a mesh detailing around the edge, but just 
Not everything needs to be Nike or whatever their favorite athletic brand is. I think investing in a couple nice Lulu items, they will really appreciate. You know how much you probably like the feel of Lulu items, so trust that your man's, your boy, your brother, your uncle, your dad will like them as well. Sticking with a little bit of a green theme, um, a bag that I did get myself is this backpack from Kate Spade. I do love little backpacks, little bags. I've been getting more into wanting items like that. Um, whether they're higher end, lower end, I really just like the versatility of sometimes you're holding one, sometimes it's a crossbody, sometimes it's the backpack, and also just the different color options, but everything not being a purse, because purses really don't go with every outfit. So this I got on a crazy Black Friday deal. Um, these backpacks are normally, I think, $300, and I got it for 80 when all was said and done. This is a very, very, very green, but it's green with gold accents, so I do absolutely love it. It is a mini backpack. The only other mini I have is a Michael Kors, but it is not this mini, so I just love what is happening here. I think they're a great idea, I think, around dance too. Um, whether you are the dancer yourself or a teacher or a friend or any other sports, honestly. Again, I think these are a lot more of a chic way to carry something without it being a purse because that doesn't always necessarily fit the event. Nothing on the inside other than the spade print and one slot that is in the back. So aside from it just being this open, nice squared off shape and then this little pouch in front, this is it. And even just little small inserts for cards or wallets or phone cases, things like that are super duper sweet. And again, just a nicer, chicer way to have some accessories in your life. Super happy I bought this guy for myself. Last clothing item I would say is if you can still manage to get your hands on anything from Skims. Um, so much of it sold out. I was trying to do shopping for me, shopping for other people, and it was just a mess and a half. But especially if you see a pop-up near you, attack it because Skims is hard to get what size you may want or the size and the color you want, especially the limited edition stuff. So, however, I did get one gift already early, um, which is ridiculous because I don't like doing gifts early, but it just worked out the way that it did. Don't judge. So, this is in the shade Amethyst, which I feel like is pretty much like a lavender gray. Um, and this is the Sleep Set, where the top of it is like a shirt, not a rope, but it's like a shirt rope because it still has the wrap that goes around it. And then it has the matching just wide leg pants. So just the um, band up top and kind of like a normal, you know, like yoga pant with on bottom. Again, the shade is amethyst. I really like it. These are so soft, so cozy. Sizing for me to still be like a loose, natural, straight fit was a medium on bottom. And then the top is a small. I got it a little early because it's just gonna kind of be a vibe for these next couple weeks, especially while it's really cold. And probably my new favorite thing to slip on after I'm out of the shower or a bath and I'm throwing on a holiday movie. So anything from Skims, I would super duper recommend. Okay, getting away from clothing, moving into Beverages, I feel like this is a never-ending list that can go so many directions. I think when you know what a person likes coffee-wise, it's like, do you want to get them a cup? Do you want to get them pods that they can use at home? What type of machine do they have? Is it a Keurig? Is it an espresso? A mug? Could it be custom? Is it for hot beverages, cold beverages? Is it just a gift card to one of their favorite coffee places? Do they like energy drinks is there a way that you can buy a pack or make your own pack or something that's going to be put one or two in a stocking wines and beers and champagnes and all of that and again what kind do they like i just feel like beverages is such a good way to go simple and think stocking putting some things in a sleeve of pods um wrapping a box of pods 
um, buying a mug and filling it with candy or going to people getting machines and higher end wines. Costco has an advent calendar of wine, 24 mini bottles of wine in the box. Costco. And I just love it. Stay hydrated, friends. I've also been drinking lots of tea. So see, the options are really just endless, guys. One of the most popular scents, if you can find it, because I know it always sells out, is Tree Farm. It is just such a good winter seasonal candle because the notes are um, crisp pine needle, warm cedar, and then the spiced apple. So it's cozy without being just too much like you're choking on a tree. Fabulous. However, if you can't find this guy from Bath and Body Works, a super close second is the mini cedar balsam from Trader Joe's. A little bit more of the pine needle scent, but I think these guys are three dollars, four dollars. They're definitely not over five dollars. So if you're going for festive, um, these are great candle options. Obviously, Bath & Body Works is always having sales. I think Yankee Candles are also always having sales. Um, and then a really good scent that um, I know a lot of my friends personally love for during the year is, I think it's called Champagne Toast. Um, and it's just bright and a little fruity and really clean and still gives off cozy but isn't specific to any season. Um, and then getting to pick which design, if you are getting a Bath and Body Works one, because they'll at this point they sell every scent in like five different wraps. And I know this is just a sticker and a colored top, but if that can make it a little more personal by picking out a design that fits that person, that's really fun. Worrying about allergies is kind of a thing around the holidays though, because I know a lot of people are allergic to like some type of nut and there's just lots of nuts, especially hazelnut, I feel like in the holiday season. I, thank God, can eat any chocolate on the planet. But these are new this season from Trader Joe's. There is 12 truffles in this package. I definitely noticed them because they're super cute. The four that are in here are a Stroop waffle truffle, a peppermint chocolate truffle, a panettone, um, which is having to do with the cranberry orange, um, for those of us who don't really know because we don't really um, and then a gingerbread truffle. Anything Advent I think is also super fun, whether you can think of if it's like a makeup or a skincare type thing. Um, there's definitely ones from designer brands, there's definitely ones from fragrance places, there's that huge Costco wine one that I said which is nuts to me. There's ones for dogs. Um, this one I bought myself and it's already um, December 3rd, so I guess I'm behind. However, let's taste test these ones that I missed on camera. So the options it can be are coffee martini, pink champagne, a uh, liqueur de cafe, eggnog, a peach bellini, or a honey caramel. So day one, liqueur de cafe. So this should be a coffee one. I actually really like that. It's really, really light. I know that the other box that's of the boozy chocolates, it's green from Trader Joe's, I do not like as much. Some of the alcohol ones are almost like, ugh, it's, they're like a jello shot where it's just like way too much of the alcohol flavor and they're not even enjoyable. Day two, so this is the other one then. So this should be coffee martini. So I guess we're going back to back with coffee. Mm. Again, these are really light, so I think they're really enjoyable. And now with the white, so this one should be egg yolk. That is eggnog. Even if you like just some chocolates enough yourself, I know that there's so many of these left in the stores. I'm still seeing piles of them. Go buy one. Because, again, get the stuff that's festive and seasonal that you can't get on the shelves for the other 11 months. Because that alone makes it really fun. Anything custom, um, whether that's stationery, maybe a planner, um, something with their initials on it, little dainty necklace, again, a phone case that's going to be custom or just cute, fits them, small, some stocking stuffer sized, socks. This is really fun for, I think, could potentially be for 
parents, aunts, um, or if you are a little older. This is a cheese board deck. For example, one thing I know that I'm gonna make with this, it is called Brie Mary, and it's just showing you a bunch of different ways to display um, boards, whether they are for all the seasons, you can tell this is a spring or an Easter one, and just giving you ideas for parties, gatherings, um, if things are gonna be more sweet, like I said, or if it's just a way to display um, a board, maybe this is in the summer. I think that one had hot dogs on it, um, a breakfast board, and just getting creative with hosting, um, having friends over for holidays, if you're hosting a brunch, um, birthday, anything like that. That is gonna wrap up this video. I hope maybe there are some ideas of things you might wanna gift someone else or some things you might wanna be shopping for for yourself while all these deals are still going on this holiday season. I am out of tea. I think I'm gonna switch to coffee now, wine later, um, and start editing this video before the sun gets too much set and wish me luck. I'm gonna try and post it late night.